it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Broughton Ales and it's a bottle of their Old Jock Ale coming in at 6.7% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Nice red bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'm really fancying this today. It's quite chilly outside. Loads of smoke on the opening. Look at that. It's like a smoking gun. It's the 23rd of December, it's a couple of days before Christmas, uh, things are hectic, things are busy, you're getting things prepared for Christmas, so why not stop what you're doing, wind down and have a beer. And remember folks, wow, let me talk about this pour a minute. So, we have a very deep, dark, mahogany coloured looking, mahogany coloured looking beer, should I say. Nice levels of carbonation. It's a big three to four finger, slightly off white head. And it looks nice. It's quite clear. Looks good. Now, as I was going to say, remember folks, and this is something that really bugs me a little bit. Obviously you're watching this, you, you have a keen interest in beer. Now, ever since I was a young boy, I was going to the pub on Boxing Day. Sometimes Christmas Day when I got a little bit older, the pub would open lunchtime, I'd have a couple of beers, the pub would then shut, the barman, the barmaid, the the landlord would then be able to go and enjoy his Christmas day, but he opened to his regulars for a couple of hours. Usually, in Wales, it's usually about 11am to about 1pm, two hours. Just for, I guess, people, because um, not everybody has wives, not everybody has family. And it's nice for the landlord and then the customer base to, to cheers, to raise a glass and have a beer. So that's Christmas day, but Boxing Day. I am getting a little bit worried about Boxing Day. Ever since it was, I was a kid, as I mentioned, I would, my father, my grandfather, we'd all get together, my uncles, my aunts, my brother-in-law, now my brother-in-law, um, didn't have a brother-in-law when I was a kid. Um, we'd all get together and we'd be banging on the pub door at 12 o'clock. We'd be the first ones there and we'd spend the afternoon there and we'd have a great time. We'd play cards, we'd drink beer, we'd go back to my auntie's house after, we'd have a few more beers. It would be a great time. Now, the way the country is, it's starting to feel a little bit like the pub's being pushed back into the distance a little bit. And it's all about the Boxing Day sales. Let's go to the shops on Boxing Day. You've got 364 days of the year to go to the shops and buy your sales stuff. Please, please support your local pub. Don't be walking around B&Q McTesco's on your, on your day off, on your boxing day. Go and support your landlord. And with that rant over, sorry about that, I just get things in my mind. Um, it just clicked in my mind that it's been on my mind for a while. Um, it's the 23rd, as I said, of December. Everything's in Christmas mode, your head's in Christmas mode. You're thinking what you're doing Christmas Day, you're thinking what you're doing Boxing Day. And that clicked, ah, yes, I wanted to spread my thoughts with you guys on that particular issue. So please, comment, comment. Tell me if you're going to McBnQ or McTesco's on your Boxing Day, or are you going to the pub? Let's get the aroma on this beer then. Yeah, and exactly what I was looking for in this beer. It's a big, strong, malty ale. It's bready, it's biscuity. There's a little, lot of raisin in there. Toffee, 
chocolate, a bit of chocolate. Mmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Let's dive in, give it a taste. Oh yeah. Mouthfeel is the first thing I look at with any beer that has kind of old strong ale, kind of porter, stout styles to them. I think a strong, uh, what they call it, a Scottish strong ale, I think has to first off have a great mouthfeel and this does not disappoint it's got a wonderful lovely medium creamy mouthfeel not in the John Smith's or Boddington's creamy I don't mean that any at all I mean it's it's a big thick gloopy malty beer nicely carbonated but then really it's just following on from the aroma there's a ton of raisins there's prune then there's bags of of sticky toffee it's biscuity it's bready there's a nice alcohol uh, taste that runs through it cuts through them flavors and again I like that. I personally, I like the fact that you're tasting the alcohol at 6.7%. It's not... Some of the best beers in the world, they say that the, the beer hides the alcohol really well. I like that, but I also like a little kick of alcohol. To finish then, you've got a nice, hoppy, traditional kind of berry finish. It's slightly spicy. It's slightly lemony. There's something slightly oak aged about this beer as well. I'm not sure if it is. I don't think it is an oak aged beer. But they're saying it's um, treat this beer like a fine wine. Why not? Rocking the beer back and forth, then you can see them lovely little bubbles chasing their head up the glass. I'm going to rate it. I'm just going to go ahead and rate this one. I think you guys know exactly what this is. I think what you're looking for from me is, is there any off flavours? No. Is it good? Yes. Go and try it. Yes. I think the main bulk of this review, and some of you, I'm sorry if you didn't like it, was for me to, I got that little thought in my mind, I talked about my, my thoughts on Boxing Day, so really I cracked the beer open, we had a little chat, I want you to comment, I want to, to hear your thoughts on my thoughts on Boxing Day. Um, this beer is well worth trying, please go out and buy it, it's a lovely beer. Rating? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.